Hi, this is for electrical, not going to the drawing the uh, electrical engineering drawing for the diploma students for say no. Here, the question draw the following view as a single phase 220 by 110 5 kV transformer. Here, the day is given. So, the resultant diagram having MSO. So, we are having the single phase, single phase transformer and core. Okay, core type is single step core and this one so here data so in that uh, diagram we can observe that the data giving the 40 uh, 40 centimeter height of the core and 24 centimeter for the LT and HT and here the diameters are also given in the diagram okay so here circum circle is given that is 7.5 centimeter so the shape is given in the single stepped core so for single stepped core the value the standard value is 71d so we have to use that data and we have to draw in that okay first so here the data is given in the centimeters so i'm converting this one is a so required so whatever the data is then i'm converting into the one is to two scale so we'll getting this values in this way okay first we have to do the one is to two scales as requirement of diagram okay here first so first we have to draw the distance between the two core centimeters okay distance between two core centers that is 50 cent so we are taking the one is to two scale so we had taken the water the one is two scales there okay now we'll start with the diagram okay one is two scale next so next we have to take the cross section of the core that is single step of core and diameter of the circum circle we are having the data that is 7.5 so whatever the 7.5 radius circle is there we, we cannot draw so we have to convert that into her so we have to convert these radius values okay that's 7.5 so here that's 1.5 this centimeter not convert that value okay so we are taking that that is scale one is to two scale radius 1.8 Okay, here I've drawn the two circles that is having the 7.5 dia. Okay, now we have to draw the this one. Okay, to draw the these squares in this one. So here the standard value is that 75. Okay, we have to use that data. So now we have to draw the square shape. So for the square shape, we have to use the this value that circum circle value and one step to code. For one step to code, 0 0.7. Okay. For one step of code, 7.1 into this value. So we'll get the value. Okay. Okay. Here I draw the two squares for the building. So this is the distance is two circles and the circum circle. Next, this one is the square single step of code that is 0 0.71 into the diameter of circle okay here we get that now we have to draw the lt winding okay here for lt winding we have LT. okay what are the inside circle and outside of the coil now we are going for that one okay for the lt inside and outside okay we'll draw the now lt inside diameter and ht ht values okay okay here i'm um, drawing the lt and ht LT winding outside diameter and inside diameter. Now we have to go drawing the HT windings, HT winding inside and outside diameters.
okay so you will complete the HTL okay LT and HT diagrams for this one okay inside and outside circuit now so we have to draw this so now for this first one so we have to draw the lines so we have to add these lines that is here for this one okay these mid lines we have to draw that is square so in between here this look like as is a hole okay here these two lines now we'll go for the circuit so we are drawing the st and lt windings now we have to also now we have to do the exit extension lines for the lt and st so here i am going the with this one okay so before going to this st and lt winding so we have to do the exit one okay so reference we have to draw the reference lines all have to draw them, okay by using the dot lines so we have to draw the reference lines using the here so particularly okay for ht and lt windings okay we have do not to draw the circum lines so we have only drawn the ht layers and lt layers Now we have to take the distance, some distance from here. Now take the distance from here, some distance. Now we have to draw the line here. So here dot line. Now we have to take the core. So the yoke height. We have yoke height that is 20 centimeter height okay so your height should be high. so this is the your height so from this one we have to take 20 means 20 So next we have to draw the height. So the different so yoke height. So yoke height we are having the eight centimeters. So we have to take here four centimeters of yoke height that is four. Here will be four we have to take and here also take for the four. So up to here we have to take the line. We have to draw the one line. now so now we have to extend these lines okay lt and st so here this is the yoke height so remaining these lines we have to draw okay up to here we have to draw it now so whatever the reference lines we have to draw on, that we have to grab it here This is the yoke height now. So in between the, these lines also we have to draw. So here we have to take exactly that's here. Okay. Now we have to draw the height of the LT and ST. So here from this point too, we have to draw the LT and ST one height. So that is we are having the height that is 12 centimeter height. Now I am taking the LT here the distance and the outer layer. Okay. So that. I 
here of the sides cross. So in similarly, at both sides you have to draw the LP and ST line. Okay, now so at the top, so here at the top of the LT and ST, you have to put them so in middle. So at both sides, we have drawn now inside of the yoke also, we have to draw. So while drawing, so please be, be careful to draw lines. So you have to use the mini drafter for practical ones okay so and i will give you the drafter i'm going to find the scale so in the this easy for you while using the rock okay i'm just giving the idea to giving the how to draw a single face transformer it's plain view okay here so no here at the top side and the bottom side so both side we have to draw in the width length so how many minutes okay so we have to draw so over here so thickness so we have to draw them so while we drawing we have to take this one height okay so we have to put that at the top we have to back light rings so you have to put the here back light ring so we have to take this amount amount that is so whatever the height is the back light rings we have to take so the lt and ht here lt and ht height so concerns the with the back light at the top side and bottom side we have to draw the back light rings Okay, here I am drawing the backlight rings with some height. So here I am taking the 2.5 mm. At the bottom side also I am taking 2.5 mm height. So each backlight rings take the height of the 1 mm. So for we are in the drawing we are taking the 5 backlight rings. So with height per each one 1 mm. So I am taking the one. Okay. Here, the light rings. So, so each one we have to draw the five backlight ones. Okay, here. So, so I see I draw the five backlight ones. It having the one of them. At the top and bottom. Okay, here is the die. Now. So we have to difference them, okay, the total. Now we have to go with the this one. So here LT and ST height. So we think we have to do the with the hatching. So for hatching, we have to take this one. So sometimes they will ask the questions with the height we have the uh, coils. So at the coil, we have to draw the this here, okay. So this is a simple line, okay. So here. So I'm going to show you how to draw this. Okay, here. So I have to take the some height and we have to do the with the hatching for the LT and HT. Okay. So we have to do it like this. For LT I'm done. Here I'm showing the ST here. Okay, we have to give the difference between so LT. I am doing HT and LT. So I have to do the whole of the transform. Okay. This is a okay. This is a single phase transformer diagram. Now we will took a uh, closer look into diagram. So it will be so you can see okay at the top. Okay, and go for the here at the core section. So then we have to give the dimensions for the diagram. So here, so this is the easy look. So it is the quick way to draw this one. So before going to diagram, that's so we have to read the data. Okay, by using the read the data, we can easily observe it. Okay, so first we have to take the single core or multiple. Okay, so 
first you have to take the core values then you have to draw the with the okay this is for electrical sign off thank you